pretty well formulated my thoughts about all of these compared to some of my other blogs where I can be a little scattering and some of this is maybe an example of actually controversial subject in the raw vegan world of the way animal products have enhanced um, my way of thinking because uh, they do say Sally Fallon did state some things that were happening to me more or less so anyways let me get on with this without a long digression the exact topic of this video is on the fence question mark or in a box question mark so what originally inspired me to do this video was a hate to keep bringing the guy up but a video that durian writer did of um, I'm sure almost all of you have seen his videos in some form or another where he likes to make fun of certain people like dress up like them and so the particular video that he did that inspired me to do this one and it's not so much as a rebuttal in a way it is but I do want to make sure that I'm real clear about what I'm doing he makes fun of Kevin Gianni is dressing in blonde because Kevin Gianni's this very sort of gorgeous looking blonde guy if I do say so myself um, of him being on the fence on the fence and Durian writers sitting on a fence making fun of Kevin Gianni for being on the fence well I want to say thank you Kevin Gianni for being on the fence because if you're not on the fence as it were you're in a box and so I'm pretty sure that I in my best of 2010 series of videos I said that for Keith in 2011 the theme of 2011 was going to be no boxes because in the world of diet I've discovered a lot of things that are outside of the raw vegan box that are very empowering that are very important that need to be brought to light so I'm not going to digress too much on all of those topics except to point out that if you're on the fence you can see what's going on in all the other boxes and you can look and you can pick and choose and learn and see who's getting results with this who's getting results with that and I, I just gotta say I've learned a lot from just wanting to be up on that vantage point of seeing what's going on because there is uh, there's a lot of things to know everything is not in a box um, perhaps we're headed in a direction where later on it's not right now where we can kind of point to everything and it will live in a box that hasn't been um, restrained <clears throat> <clears throat> a little bit of detox going on I've been doing this some crazy routines it's bringing up some some mucus in me anyways um, so the, the, the passing of the last age has been all about restraint um, be that from in the American Western paradigm has been the rules and the very restricted box that Christianity has brought people lived in fear of God and I'll tell you that's I got another topic coming up on that one but we're gonna stick with this one here this basic thing of closed minds of living in a box of subscribing to one thing and not being on the fence we want to be on the fence the fence is a good place to be because you can see everything okay so I'm gonna read from the good old Ram Ramtha the white book um, and I had set this down for a while and then I opened it up to a page and I had been pondering this one chapter for quite some time so the last time I quoted Ramtha or did some Ramtha stuff the Ramtha people got mad at me so hopefully I think it was because I was mimicking the Ramtha consciousness and energy with the uh, rising of the Kundalini which I think 
um, they did not want being taught by somebody that was a novice, which would have been me. But anyways, so that video was dropped. I don't know if you remember that one. So uh, I'm going to read from Ramtha a little bit. You have a term called closed-minded. Well, that is a literal description. When you refuse to venture in thought beyond the bounds of social consciousness, portions of your brain are literally closed to higher frequencies of thought. That is because your pituitary gland has been activated to open its mouth only a little way. Thus, it has activated into use only those part of the brain that receive the lower frequencies of your social consciousness. The only reason someone is a genius and knows things you do not know is because he has opened his mind to contemplate the what-ifs, the outrageous thoughts, the thoughts of brilliance that go beyond the limiting thinking of man. He has allowed himself to entertain and reason with those thoughts whereas you have rejected them. You cannot receive them because you have yet to activate those portions of your brain that will enable you to reason with them. So what happens to the great thoughts of unlimited understanding that continually bombard your light structure? They bounce off your receiver unit and are sent back out through the spirit of your being back into the river of thought. To be closed-minded is to be closed to the possibility of anything existing outside of the values that can be experienced through the senses of your body. Yet, in the realm called God, nothing is impossible. If any, and in pointing out one of the big messages, a little digression here, one of the big messages of Ramtha is that we are God. And that's going to be a topic of a video coming up in the next three or four of these things that I want to address is that we are God. So, um, and that makes perfect sense. I do want to point out something in that so that you, you, you perhaps are starting to change your, your mode of thinking is that the Bible even says in the beginning, there was God. So where did everything come from? Where did he get everything? So it's even in the most, one of the most limited boxes, I think, which is the King James edition of the Bible, uh, a very limited, it is not the whole book, the whole deal. It says, in the beginning, there was God. So what is everything? Everything is God. Everything came out of God. So, we have become these sort of, as Grant Morrison would say, these sort of larvae that are have extended out of creative source and so we don't want to limit ourselves so sorry for that lengthy digression but I do think it was important to know that yet in the realm of God nothing is impossible if any one thing can be conceived or pondered it exists and that's another digression here um, you should probably check out um, the documentary, What the Bleep Do We Know, which is where a lot of people actually um, came to an awareness of Ramtha as well as um, much simpler concepts of quantum physics. So um, that is how, you know, let me back up on that. If any one thing can, can be conceived or pondered, it exists. For whatever is dreamed or imagined is already within the realm of existence. This is how all creation came into being. Anytime you tell someone that something is only your imagination, you are programming them into stupidity and limited creativity. And here's the thing that I've said a few times now. Creativity. That's the only thing that separates us from our pals on this planet here the animal kingdom. This is a big difference. That's the only thing that separates us is our creativity. And that is indeed what happens to children on this plane. All of you. Where they are made stupid. This is me talking. They are made stupid. They are pounded down. It's like the Pink Floyd song. We don't need no education. We don't need no thought control. We don't need no dark sarcasm or no dark sarcasm in the classroom. Teachers, leave those kids alone. 
So, anyways, a, a, a little bit more on that. Um, uh, anyways, so uh, finding, because I read through this chapter a couple of times, but another time, uh, another thing I want to point out. So, we want to avoid our minds being closed. And here's, here's the next bit that I really loved from uh, Ramp of the White Book, um, chapter, uh, it's on page 240, page 239 and 40, chapter 11, The Closed Mind. So, this is after you graduate to that point of, I want to open my mind. So, each time you accept a thought that is greater than what you have accepted as your standard, that thought activates yet another part of your brain into purposeful use. Each time you do that, the greater thought will offer itself as a carrier to expand your reasoning from that point. That will activate other portion, portions of your brain for more thought, for more receiving, for more knowing. When you desire to experience super consciousness, unlimited thing, thinking, your pituitary begins to open and bloom like a magnificent flower. The more it opens, the greater that hormone flow and the more dormant parts of your brain are activated to receive the higher frequencies of thought. You know, this is the next paragraph, you know it is very simple to be a genius. All you have to do is think for yourself. So, that's my close out of this topic here because some of the other topics that I'm going to come up with, um, I already have them very organized, is sort of dealing with this, of, of being out of a box. You know, there's, you know, we have this vantage point where we look around, oh look, there's, there's Chinese herbalism, TCM. Oh, right next door is um, Taoist, mortal Chinese thinking, which is a little different. Oh, and look over there, there's Ayurveda. Or, oh, hey, look over there, there's uh, there's Christianity. We, we started hating that for a while. Oh, maybe if we look deeper into that, maybe there's something true in there, as there is. Because, like I said, the, King's the King James edition of the Bible, which is pretty much most of the American Christian movement, is controlled by that. And that is an edited book. So, there's a very limited thinking right there for you. Um, and not that I have anything wrong with that, because I have really, I don't think I ever rejected Christianity, but uh, some of the limited stuff that was jammed down my throat really brought me to a point of not being able to uh, really even say the word God, even though I did have a very close relationship with God. But I can tell you one thing. I don't know how thick, let's pretend this is the King James edition, I'd say it's it's a pretty, it's a little bit thicker than this, it's maybe, you know, that is a fucking small book to have all the answers in it, all the vastness that is God, and that is where we're headed, again, is to Maybe not in this lifetime, but where we want to be headed. And one thing that we want to unlearn is those closed minds of being open to eating cooked food, seeing what works, uh, opening our mind to the fact that we've been lied to for the last hundred years, since the beginning of the Industrial Rev Revolution. Um, opening our thoughts to maybe the fact that the television is just a box that tells us lies, that make us more controlled, that make us feel more like we're separated from stuff, from what's real. Um, and on saying that, um, a good place to go and learn some stuff is David Icke. Um, a lecture he has, I think, that's called The End of the Schism. Uh, schism. Schism. I always want to say that word wrong. I see my 15-minute mark coming up. So, on the fence or in the box. I say on the fence because there's a better vantage point there. Namaste.